Hello everyone. This is the new art club, and sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out. I was exploring it myself, and then I was going to try and get it out this morning, but a bunch of bobs came to my server and tried to raid my cave and wasted my time, because they didn't get anywhere, like usual. It's actually getting annoying. But, so to get into art club, you can just join it from the main server list, or you can go to your start menu when you're already on your server and go to uh, Club Arc right here, and then join through here. And it doesn't transfer your character, so you don't gotta worry about that. It just makes it as if you logged out on your server and joined this one, and you make a whole new character and everything. Once you're here, you just kinda wanna go to the middle area, and the main thing you're going to do is go to this bounty hunter store where you play mini games to get the currency that you see in the bottom right. And then you can spend it at the casino for random rewards, and I'll show you those later. Uh, the saloon has beer you can buy, which is just haha funny. And then the bank is your inventory right here. I really don't think there's anything different that you can do at the bank. Yeah, it just doesn't let you transfer anything here, so I don't know what the point of that is. So to play a mission, you have to make a tribe first, and then you can invite people to your tribe, and they can play it with you. If they lose the mission, they don't get any rewards and they're kicked out, uh, but you can still finish it on your own. And if you both win, I'm not actually sure if you both get the same amount of currency or not. Uh, can someone say that in the comments down below? Say me and my friend never won together, <laughs> so I never learned that. But... Uh, the main two games that you can play here, or there's three games actually, so the two mini games are Lasso Game, where you just get sheep, and this Alpha Lasso Game is the best way to get money for your time, and the Wackadodo is extremely hard, but pretty fun when the RNG is in your favor, and the most fun is the Bob's Tall Tales. And it's really hard to get into this. Make sure you go to a server with no one on it because there's only one lobby that can play at a time. Otherwise, you'll have to wait to play. And then same with these. There's like only like six lobbies for these games. So if there's a bunch of people on the server, you're not gonna be able to play them because they're all, all the lobbies are full. So with Bob's Tall Tales, I already have a video on it. I did the Alpha Train Robbery solo. So if you want to learn how to do that, go see that. But the best mini game for money is this lasso game here. And I'll show you. I can complete this at best in three minutes and at worst in four minutes and you get 1800 currency. The Dodo game takes much longer and is much harder on basically every difficulty, but you can just do this alpha, alpha lasso game really easy. The sheep start off spawning really slowly, so I saw one there. And you want to go for the ones that are stuck because the aiming is kind of poor. Uh, or maybe I just suck, but a lot of the times I really think I'm going to hit a shot and I don't. But you'll find all the spots where the sheep get commonly stuck, and then you just go for those ones, like there, like there, I don't know why I'm talking like that. And then you can go to, uh, once you get five, you go ahead and just drop them off here, and you just gotta do that seven times, and then you win. There are a bunch of sheep behind me that are trying to kill me, these red ones, but you just always hold forward and sprint. I actually have a macro on to just make me auto run, because there's no reason to not be running. And you can just like run right through the pack and really not take any damage. They're not a threat. You just have to keep moving forward. Uh, just make sure when you hit a sheep, you don't hit one of these red ones because it will take it away from you and you'll lose all of them. But if you just dropped off your sheep and want to get a red sheep out of the way, you can just hit it and there's really no penalty to it. So even with all that talking, I finished with a minute 40 left. And so is it really worth it to be doing these minigames to get these rewards at the casino? Uh, the answer is not really, if you're an established tribe. Uh, this wheel's interesting because you can get a Rhino and a Cryo, so I sat here and farmed these games and spun this wheel a bunch, and this was a few days ago, so I don't have it in my inventory anymore, but I had about 45 spins when I finally won the Rhino. Uh, someone else in the ARC Discord said it took him like 100. If you're literally a brand new tribe, this is actually pretty worth to do. You do get some decent stuff, and you need no investment from like the rest of the game. So I'll spin this a couple times to show you how this goes. But usually whatever gear you land on, it gives you some pretty low quality stuff. And even when it's high quality, the armor values are really bad. Awesome, I just lost money there. 
If you want chibis, this is actually a good way to get chibis. <laughs> I'll definitely admit that. This is like the best chibi farm in the game. Do these smaller wheels have chibis? These smaller wheels have chibis, so maybe that's worth it uh, better, depending on what the RNG value is. It's definitely not shit. I just got a Rhino. Okay. But I guess I can show you now. It's a level 105, 100% imprinted to no one. And I don't think it'll show me its maturity on the cryo, no. But it's probably 5% again. Still says it's a baby. So yeah, this is like amazing as a new tribe to farm this. Oh, and I basically forgot to say, I'm, make, I'm making it sound like it's obvious. But anything you win, you can then go to your regular server and then pull it out of your transmitter. And you can have it on your regular server and keep it there. But you can't bring anything to this server. And it's just basically anything you win here is uploaded but that's the only like crossing that you can do between the two servers. There are a couple other stores. Uh, this is back at the entrance, the supply store. You can roll these chests and it costs more than that wheel, probably because it's like a guaranteed uh, resource that you get, but it's not worth it at all. If you got black pearls, it might end up being worth it, but it's rare. Like I'm gonna get like 100 maybe. Yeah, I got 100 CP, awesome. This brick game is bad. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's actually showing what you get on this brick game. Uh, if you land... Here, I'll just show you. So it really doesn't matter what kind of tower you build because it's always gonna take you down to one block here at the end. Okay, it's actually bringing more fare. So like, I can kind of pick what reward I want by losing... I kind of want saddles. Oh, there's no saddles. That's sad. Oh, it timed me out. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. And I got 10 sap. Yeah, great. Okay, so these ones that are like this are bugged. Whenever I reach the line, like you saw there was a line right here. Whenever I reach the line on these, it just ends the game. So make sure you only play it when it has all the icons on it, which is not very often. Then if you head west uh, from the center of the map, you can actually do the chests with armor, and you can get all the different types of armor. You can get tech armor, which is kind of cool, but it's a super rare drop. And then the one thing I'm focused on right now is the saddles, because you can win tech saddles, and I really want to know if they're in higher quality than just primitive. Uh, that would be literally insane if you could get like ramshackle, apprentice, whatever tech saddles because this would be the only outlet in the game to do so right now uh so that's what i'm grinding if the if i ever figure it out i'll put it down in the pin comment down below but i have not gotten a tech saddle from this or if you guys have gotten a tech saddle please let me know so if you head north here there's a wardrobe and a hair salon it's all just cosmetic stuff for this world and when you transfer off it goes away so you can put on whatever you want and then the hair salon is pretty self-explanatory and then you come over here all the way north and there is a scrapper. And then anything that you have won here, you can then scrap for rewards. It says, oh, it says max rewards. So I think it gives you a random amount. Yeah, I think it's just a random amount of rewards that you get. Even if I try and trash the Rhino, it's only giving me 200 right there. <laughs> That's so sad. Also at the Bounty Hunter store, you can do duels with people. It doesn't say you get rewards. You might be able to, but I have not done it because people are complaining that it wasn't good and also i think only one set of people can duel at a time and it puts them over into this area over here and you can watch them oh maybe it's two sets yeah duel and duel so there's only two lobbies that are available it looks like at a time so i never got a chance to do it okay so i do have a couple recommendations to the devs to make this area better the first one is with this dodo game here uh wackadodo so on alpha I'm mostly through the first part of it right here. You can see I need a certain amount of points to progress and you get points by shooting the dodos with a spear gun. Uh, when the server has a lot of people on it, the hit registration is terrible. Right now there's no one on the server, so it's pretty fine. And then after you finish this first phase, the second phase spawns a big alpha dodo. Yeah, and on release day, there was, you have to go through this phase thing like four times. So you do whack a dodo and then hit this guy with bombs. And I'll show you how to do that here. You do that four times and it was miserable, but they patched it. And, oh, that's going to hurt. But right now you only have to do it two times, which means they basically doubled the health per phase on this alpha dodo. 
and you do not have enough time to kill it, basically. And it's because I'm constantly running from these C4 dodos, and I cannot turn around to pick up the green bombs that are over there. And by the time I get over there, they will despawn and go somewhere that I cannot reach them, most likely. And it's completely based on RNG, and it's not fair, like, actually. If they just... Okay, so I literally have to just run straight here. Like, what could I have done besides that? So now I have to run all the way back around. If I get too close to the dodos, they explode. And I have to get this dodo to half health before this minute 40 is up. And it's literally impossible. Luckily one spawned right here. I missed it because grabbing it's really hard. And if I stop moving for a second, I just explode. So I can grab this one. I might have whiffed. I don't think I whiffed that shot. Okay. One spawned in front of me here. So I got lucky. Uh, this first phase is way more doable than the second phase after I get down to half health and then play Wackadodo again. It seems like stuff spawns less. Like, there's literally no green bombs on the map now. I'm really just sitting here wasting time. It's like, this is pretty normal for this game type. They just need to make it so the green dodos spawn always uh, on the map, and they just stay there. Like, one in each corner of the map, and that'd be fine. That guy just stopped me from moving. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <sighs> We're good. But yeah, okay, so I've just been in trouble this whole time, and now that I'm fine, there's no bombs on the map to use. I'm at 45 seconds. Maybe I suck at the game. You can shoot these dodos to like push them away and make them explode, but that does not matter like at all because they just spawn infinitely. Like even if I just turn around and killed all the stuff, there's like four that spawned right there. Okay, I can cut across the map here. Oh, my mouse ran out of room. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so now I can go like I, this is a bad idea to cut here. Okay, actually that was fine. We're good. But now we're at 10 seconds. Okay, I actually completed that, but barely. So you can see how with worse RNG, I won't complete it. Like, at all. Yeah, I just randomly died and lost, but that is a major problem. Just make it so those green ones don't disappear when they spawn, or just make them spawn in guaranteed places. And this game mode is actually amazing and, like, a lot of fun. The Wackadodo. For the rewards, I think all the saddle and like armor stores are really good i like those just make it so the quality of the saddle and stuff is higher i'd say since it's random it's not like you're gonna get ascendant capped armor quet saddles every time you're gonna get friggin raptor saddles and stuff that doesn't matter too much so i just make it good so people who are established can actually get good things from this game mode and then when it comes to the wheel make the rhino usable like, increase the stats to something good. I don't know. I think the Rhino is fine. It's just whatever. And then people who are established can roll the Black Pearl one. I think the Rhino is fine. I like that one, actually. But let's see what this guy gets. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Holy shit! No! Oh, yeah. So he got three wood when he thought he was going to get 500 Black Pearls. Get fucked. But... Yeah, make, sh like, the resources, get rid of all the stupid stuff, like wood and stone. Like, no one needs that. And then when you get something good, like electronics, give them, like, a thousand. Or, like, black pearls, give them, like, the 200, 250 or something. All the armor, just make it good. Like, quality stuff, not ramshackle. Like, really just give capped armor, capped guns. Just make it worth being here. And I think this is actually a really cool place. Looking for the love. You've accomplished what few have. You've ascended.